You can see people cold with blankets, indoor corners. As people living outside with temperatures forecasted to drop tonight, Anchorage leaders say they've delayed plans to bring a warming shelter online. Those leaders say community concerns cause them to pause their warming shelter plans. Right now, there continues to be no warming stations open anywhere in Anchorage. And new since 5 o'clock, community leaders, where Georgina Fernandez is right now, tell her, along with concerns, they also want solutions. Georgina? Mike and Maria, Fairview community leaders say they want to help find a solution for warming shelters here in Anchorage. But it has concerns about this potential location, which is why the municipality is taking a pause. The meeting now says there's no set date when a Fairview warming station could open, but say at the earliest, it could be near the end of December or early 2024. At a time when temperatures are forecasted to get colder, the Fairview Community Council says they remain concerned about the numbers of people who will be in the facility and security there. Tonight, the community's position is there is, with some people not allowed in emergency cold weather shelters, so there is a need for these warming sites. We have people that have accessed shelter beds and then have either had some problematic uh, encounters and so they're no longer allowed in emergency cold weather shelter. What that does is it pushes them back onto the streets. Well, when that happens and it's cold weather, we need to have somewhere where people can at least stay warm to stay alive. Right now, Johnson says there's about two dozen people who fall under that list. As she says, there is about 400 more who need shelter. As she also says, half that list does not want help finding shelter. Fairview Community Council leaders say they're open to having a warming shelter or concerned about the intake size and claims of past incidences of misconduct. What we'd like to be is when you say we want you to be a good neighbor, we want you to work with us to make sure that there are no misdemeanor violations occurring. Now, one potential change that could happen is capacity. Johnson says capacity might be cut down to 25, and that could be increased if a need is seen.